In this video, I will talk about simultaneous equations in Stata. Before you watch this video, please make sure that you have watched my other video called Simultaneous Equations. So let's go ahead and get started. The outline for this presentation would be to talk about simultaneous equations and then testing for rank condition. Uh, in order to do that, you need to download the program and also the data file, ROS.DTA, uh, and then um, uh, provide a path to where the data file is stored. So I have already executed the program, and this is the output uh, here. And so um, what is in this data set, MROS? Uh, so this is labor supply and demand data for working women. And so we're going to be keeping only the working women. So here we would keep if in labor force equals one. So first of all, we're going to keep all the working women. And then we're going to describe, summarize, and list the first 10 observations of the data. So let's, uh, let's look at the uh, data set that we have here. And so here, um, the two uh, dependent variables that we're going to have is hours, and this is the hours worked uh, in 1975, and then it's the log wage. So here we have uh, labor, supply, and demand, where hours worked uh, depends on the log wage, but then the log wage depends on the hours worked. And here we have education experience, experience square, the age of the person and the number of kids under six years old and the non-wife income uh, as part of the data set as well. If we summarize the uh, variables, this is uh, the numbers that we get here as far as summary. And then um, this is how the data looks like if we look at the first uh, 10 observations as far as number of hours worked, the log of wage, education experience, experience square, this is the age, uh, how many kids they have under six years old, and the non-wife uh, income. So in order for us to uh, estimate the models, let's first do a regression for hours equation using an OLS estimation. So here we have regression of hours depending on log wage and then education age, kids under six years old and non-wife income. So here this log wage is an endogenous variable that's correlated with the error term, but we're going to ignore that for now and just calculate and just estimate this equation using OLS. And this is what we are getting here. Uh, if we estimate the regression of hours on log wage and the other variables, uh, one thing we're finding here is that um, in this regression, we have that um, the coefficient on the log of uh, wage would actually uh, not be significantly different from zero. So now let's uh, do an um, two-stage least squares estimation. Here the log wage would be instrumented by the variables from the other equations. So uh, what we have here is that um, we have an IV regression of hours on log of wage, but here the first stage would be uh, where experience and experience square these are the independent variables that would occur in the other equation uh, here. Um, and so these are the independent variables that serve as instruments here. And this will be the first stage um, for the two-stage least squares. And these are the independent variables here that are uh, exogenous. Comma first basically shows the results from the first stage least squares. And so um, here's what we find in the first stage least squares. So here we have log of wage, uh, and then we have experience and experience square. These two are being the instruments, and these are actually the independent variables from uh, the original equation, so they're being repeated. But experience and experience square right here are the instruments. 
And so um, these are the results that we have here. Uh, we can also notice that uh, the coefficient on experience and experience square are significant uh, as well. And so once we estimate the first stage of the two-stage least squares, uh, we can actually uh, calculate the predicted value for log of wage. And then in the second stage, uh, what happens is that uh, we would be estimating a regression of hours on log of wage and all the other independent variables. But this log of wage is actually not log of wage, it's log of wage hat, which is the predicted value from the first stage that we saw above. And so now we can see that this coefficient here um, for the two-stage least squares coefficient is actually significantly different from zero. And the way we would interpret this coefficient is that for 1% increase in wages, we would see 16.4 hours uh, increase in the total hours that women work. So now remember that this coefficient was not significantly different from zero before uh, in this regression that we had here. Um, but now it is significantly different from zero when we um, actually uh, use the two-stage least squares uh, procedure. So that tells us that there's some uh, endogeneity which was uh, corrected here. So now let's go ahead and repeat the same procedure only for the other equation. And here uh, what we are going to have is regression of log of wage on hours education, experience, and experience squared. So this is the other equation. And these are the determinants of the log of wage. So now ours here is the endogenous variable. And in order for us to find instruments for it, we're going to come into this equation here that we had before. And we would be picking up these variables here that would be serving as instruments for um, for hours, and that's what we are doing here. In the IV regression, um, we would be having log of wage, which is the same here, regressed on hours, but this hours would be instrumented by age, kids less than six years old, and non-wife income. So these are the instruments that are actually included in the other equation uh, that we're gonna be using as instruments here, and these are the other uh, in the independent uh, variables here that are in exogenous and comma first, uh, meaning that showing the first stage results. So here's what we have as far as instrumental variables um, for the other equation. Here we have uh, an OLS estimation of log of wage on hours, education, experience, and experience squared. And here is the uh, ignoring the fact that we have simultaneous equations, just estimating with it with OLS. And if we, we note here the coefficients, uh, we're noticing that the coefficient on hours here is not significantly different from zero. Now, if we're applying the two-stage least squares estimation, um, here is the first stage results that we have here. So hours is regressed on all of the uh, uh, exogenous variables from this equation, but also these are the instruments that came from the other equation. And note here that uh, two of the three coefficients here are significantly different from zero uh, for these instruments here. So now what we're doing is uh, we're calculating the predicted values for hours from the first stage. And now in the second stage, we're actually including these predicted values here for hours as an independent variable. So the coefficient that we have here on hours is actually not significantly different from zero. And actually, if we're looking at these results here, they resemble pretty much the results that we saw up above 
from the uh, OLS estimation of this model as well. So pretty much uh, similar coefficients as much as uh, the uh, magnitude of that, them and similar significance. So there was not too much of a correction here uh, between a reg the regression, the OLS estimation of it, and the two-stage least squares uh, estimation of it for this equation. Uh, as we saw in the previous one that we actually reversed the, um, uh, as much as we saw uh, a change in the coefficient on log of wage, which became significant. Okay, so the final thing to do here is uh, test for the rank condition. So the rank, testing for the rank condition involves estimating the reduced form equation and testing for the significance on the instrumental uh, variables. And so basically uh, what we want to find here is that when we have the reduced form equation for log of wage, so basically this is the same as the first stage uh, of the two stage least squares. And what we want to find is that um, the coefficients on experience and experience squared, which are the instruments uh, in these reduced form equation, they are jointly significantly different from zero. Because if they are, then we have the experience and experience squared uh, are serving as good instruments for regression uh, for the endogenous variable on log wage and that means that the equation for hours would be identified and it could be estimated. And on the other hand, the reduced form equation for hours um, would be this. If we regress hours on all of the uh, exogenous variables as well as the um, uh, instruments that we have here, we want to test for the coefficients on age, kids less than six years old and non-wife income. These three coefficients to be jointly significantly different from zero. If they are, this means that these uh, instruments here are good instruments for ours and that means that we would be able to identify the other equation for log of wage uh, and be able to estimate it. Um, so how we are going to do this is if we estimate the reduced form equation for, uh, for log of wage, this is again the first stage equation, and then uh, we're looking at the coefficients on experience and experience square. And if we see that uh, here, they're actually significantly different from zero. This one is at least a 10% is significantly different from zero. And a joint F test uh, shows that um, actually the p-value is less than 0.05, so they're jointly significantly different from zero. This means that experience and experience squared are good instruments for log of wage, identifying the equation for hours. So repeating the same thing for the reduced form equation for hours um, here. Um, age, kids less than six years old and non-wife income serve as instruments. And so what we want to do is um, we see that actually um, two of the coefficients are significantly different from zero. One is not significantly different from zero uh, as far as the coefficients on the instruments. But if we test all of them with an F test, uh, what we're seeing here is that this is less than point five the p-value and therefore we have uh, significance here and joint significance of these coefficients so what that means is that uh, we are actually having good instruments for hours and that would identify the equation for log of wage and uh, we can estimate that so this completes the uh, presentation of the simultaneous equations